Okay, welcome back to Finn and Jake's Balloon Defense Tower. I know I have been away for a very long time. I'm sorry about that. I've been very busy lately. Now, in this game I was playing today, I actually did pretty good. I unlocked a few new characters, what I think was pretty good, as you'll see as you watch. And I won a few matches. I did lose a few times, but that's okay. I'm alright losing them. I'll just keep trying until I win, or I'll get tired and try a different type of map. Now, the reason why I've been, uh, how to put it, away from YouTube for a while is I've been busy. I, if you ever watch one of my older videos, I was talking about making a costume and doing some other stuff on YouTube. I was gonna do that and I still am. Here's the thing though, that takes time. So I have to think about what I want to do. I can either do lots of YouTube work, what is really good, or I can get my costume and all that done for the YouTube thing I want to do. Now I'm going to be intentionally vague right here. I'm not going to tell you exactly what I'm doing with the costume and what I'm doing. And here's the reason why. You guys would probably steal my idea. If I told you exactly every detail on what I was going to do, you guys would steal my idea and do it yourself. Of course. <laughs> if you have the money I should say it's expensive to keep buying fabrics and furs and things like that that gets expensive when you're making costumes or like when you got to buy lighting or cameras or things like that that's also really expensive and I just you know gotta get money so yeah I've been very busy lately but I thought today where I don't need to do too much I thought I would make another video so yes, this is the Finn and Jake basically balloon defense tower type thing. Or in other words, Adventure Time balloon defense tower. It's free on Steam, I think, from where I got it from. Like I said, I haven't played this in a long time, but I did today. And my opinion on the game is, it's fun, but I, uh, yeah, it's a bit of a longer video than usual. But that's okay. I don't always have a lot to ramble on about, meaning talking, but yes. There's been a lot of costume work lately and that's really been it lately it's just costume and scripting because the program or in other the show I'm going to be doing online I needed to script it so scripting took a while and I had to make the costume <laughs> I'm not done making it just yet but I'm close let's put it that way and a lot of things go into it like a lot of studying research how to do things all those type of things but that all takes time you see and because it takes time I haven't been doing YouTube because of it but I have been working hard nearly every day I've been working except for one week I did take a week of break because my hands were getting tired of the sewing I'm not using a machine I'm hand sewing absolutely everything so you'll see it eventually on one of my other channels it will never get posted here because this is what I call my gaming channel it's mostly just games but on my other channel this is where everything like my costume and other things will be. Now the channel is up and running. I have a link to it from the YouTube, oh, what do you call it? YouTube page. So when you're on uh, everything assorted, if you scroll down, you'll see my second channel. I have two other channels. One's more of an art channel and the other one, well, I'm going to be vague with that one because like I said, it's to do with my costume I'm making. Now I could show you photos, but the character's not done just yet, so I won't. But when she uh, finally gets done, I think you guys would like it. And if you guys don't like it, that's okay too. Like, I know not, it's not for everybody the, what I'm going to be doing soon. And I know not everybody's interested in it. And that's okay. I uh, probably will have my comments on my project disabled when I make my channel up and running. Like, with content, I mean. Uh, just because I don't want to hear people's comments. Because I've got a good idea what you guys will be saying in the comments. And some will be very good and some other won't be so good because we have crabs online. Now, if you're wondering what crabs means, it means the crab mentality. The crab mentality is if you put one crab in a bucket with no lid, it will crawl out. You put many crabs in a bucket with no lid, the other crabs will pull it down when it tries to get out. In other words, if you can't have it, neither can I type mentality. So I probably won't have my comments switched on when I do my project and I give the first video out soon. Now when I say soon, I mean a few years because I'm one person, or in other words, one woman working very hard. Well, I'm not really a woman exactly, but <laughs> you know, I'm a thing. Or what could you call me? What's another thing? I'm like a human, but I'm not a human. I've got paws and 
and cute little ears. So yeah, I'm not exactly human, but everyone just says human on YouTube and stuff, so yeah. But this project I'm doing, I think you guys would like. But if you don't like it and you don't like the type of content I uh, make and you're very strong feeling about it, I don't want to hear about it, okay? I know I'm being a bit passive aggressive, but if you have bad thoughts or negativity, uh, this isn't a place to be telling me about it. I like to have positivity in my life. Of course, if you do tell me bad things, I'll just ignore it because my skin's thicker than an orange. So yeah, I uh, with the costume, if you want to know when uh, exactly it will be done. Now, I can't make any promises what I'm about to say for deadlines, but I'm thinking about maybe two to three years work because I've got the scripting to do, the recordings, stuff like that. So either two to three years, it should be done. Absolutely everything, because I'm the only person doing it and nobody's helping me. So it takes a long time. And that's okay. I'm happy to work on my costume for a very long time to get it done so it's professional. Because a lot of YouTubers say, yeah, I've got a project I want to do. Then so they get help with it. But here's the thing. No one's going to help me with what I want specifically like everybody who says oh I'll help you wants to change my vision I have a vision on what I want I know exactly where I want it to be I know how I want to do it and other people want to change that so that's why I can't work with anybody because they'll be like oh I don't like that or I don't like this and it's like well it's not your show so what's it matter you know so yes my costume is my favorite thing and I know as you're watching me play the balloon defense tower I'm doing pretty good aren't I that we've done a few levels and all that I know I changed the subject just instantly and I didn't mean to I'm just yeah I was just commenting on that so yeah two to three years should be the deadline for getting my costume and everything with the scripting and cameras and lighting and all that sorted and you also got to remember I need space and I need money money you need to buy the gear to do the thing and then you need the space or in other words a place to actually do it so you need the idea, the place, and the money to be able to do everything. And those three things I kind of am a little bit limited on. I don't have the best gear right at the moment, so I'm saving up to get some more, like some better gear, so everything's really nice looking. And as for the costume, that's getting done. It's just taking a while. We've had a few back sets, as I like to call it, or in other words, some things haven't gone the plan. So I've had to re-script a few things. And for the actual scripting itself, uh, let's just say it's easier said than done. Like it's getting done very slowly, or I like to call it the most painfulest way to script the show by yourself and hope everything goes to well. But yeah, it's a pretty good show. I may or may not put little easter eggs in there. What I mean by that is little secrets in the show. Just for the keen eyes to be looking for. I don't know if I want to do that or not. Like it sounds kind of fun. Imagine you have like a little show you make. And then you say to yourself. Hey that's a cute little show. Let's put some little secrets in now and again. Or some little references. It just sounds a bit of fun you know. To do something like that. But that's a maybe. I can't promise you I'll actually do that. It just depends on time scheduling. Scripting and costume making and money. It's all what that depends on. And time. I need to have a lot of time to be able to do it, you know, spare time as we call it. Because my YouTube isn't my job, it's my hobby. Now, I don't do YouTube as work, like it's just a hobby. I say to myself, I want to do a hobby today. What is it? Oh, YouTube. So sometimes I'm too busy doing other things to be able to do stuff like costume. I'll get it done when I can in my spare time. With other things, well, you know, we're all busy. We're all people in the end. So yeah, I will probably eventually get my whole suit done, the show done. Now I know you're watching the game while I'm talking and rambling on about my new show I'm going to soon get done, but I just thought on the channel I haven't posted in a very long time and I thought I'll explain to you why and I just did. It's because I've been working on a costume in a new show. And because it's just me making it and no one else, it's taking a very long time. But that doesn't matter though. I am super excited to get it done. I'm not rushing it though because this is what all people say. You rush something, it won't be as good quality as spending time on something. So this may take two to three years to get done. But when it's done, it will be fun, exciting 
and I hope people like it. Well, at least the demographic I'm going for, I hope they like it, and if they don't like it, well, <laughs> it's there anyway, you know. I'm not changing my vision. I hope people like it. I think I know what I'm doing. I've done a lot of studying, and I've still got so much more studying to do. I've probably got, ooh, let's say maybe 12 more months of study, and then I may be an expert on what I'm doing, but I might need more than 12 months study to be an expert. I've never done this before. This is my first time at what I'm going to be trying to do with my little show I'm making. It's going to go for a while. Well, that's the plan anyway, to make it go for at least a while, you know. Because we don't want to just like have one or two episodes and that's it. That wouldn't be very fun. So, yeah, I thought I'd make a whole lot of episodes. Because it's going to be a little series. I know I can make movies and all that, but I think a series is, uh, how to put it, more manageable and more fun. Because then, yeah, you never know what time I'll be uploading, though, when I eventually get around to it. I could do it once a month, I could do it once a week, you know, I can make the rules. I am the creator, so I make the rules. So, yeah, that will be coming out very soon. I do have a deadline in my head on when I'm doing it, but if I told you the deadline, you would expect it at that time. That's why I'm not actually going to tell you the exact deadline I've got in my head and other stuff. But there is technically a deadline. But when it's all done, uh, I would say you guys should watch. But like I said, it's going to take a very long time. There'll probably be a lot more videos on my channel here besides what I'm going to be doing on my other channel. But you never know. Maybe it'll come early. You never know. I might just get all the work done perfectly. I might make a few mistakes along the way like I've already had. But yeah, I think if I keep working at it and I just pay attention to what I'm doing and hopefully it's okay. Yes, I know I'm a bit worried in some places though. Uh, if you're wondering what I worry about, I worry sometimes um, overdoing it like too ambitious. I don't know if anyone's ever done that where they've had an idea in their head and they've gone, I want to go do that. I am going to do that. And then once they actually start doing it, they realize they uh, bit off a bit more than they could chew. I'm a little worried I might have done that. Well, my biggest fear is not liking what I make because that can also happen. You make a beautiful creation. Everyone might like it except myself but as long as other people likes it. This show I'm making I like to say it's a bit like you've got rose colored glasses on. It's a little bit more innocent. Let's put it that way for my show. I don't want to show what is reality basically. I'm like yeah it can have some reality elements but I want it to be a little bit more fun. A bit cute, fun and stuff what basically how to explain it avoided the real world the real world doesn't go very well the real world is not a very kind place but you can make it better on that perspective you look at it so on a negative perspective you could say the world's terrible but on a positive perspective you could say the world's great in some places like some places may be really bad but then some other places are really good in the world. What I mean by places, I mean like, you know, like the perspective of people and how you want to view the world, that type of thing. So the show I'm making is a little bit more innocent where it doesn't go into anything serious. It's more like, hey, let's have a good time. Let's have some fun. That's basically what my show is going to be about. A bit more about having a bit more fun and not worrying about the real world. So it will be a show basically where we say really nothing about the real world as much and we just have fun along the way. Something like that. Because uh, I'm going to be honest with you, getting the costume done and making it and all and buying the materials, I'm going to say it, inflation is a very annoying thing to deal with. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I hate inflation. I just do. You know, where they raise up the prices of bloom and everything. So one minute, you know, it's this type of price and then they go, oh, let's use inflation. Oh, now it's more expensive. It gets expensive every year. So it makes that harder. I've got to save up more. I've got to work harder to get more money. Stuff like that. Yeah, so I work hard. I get my stuff done. I've got money. And then I make costume. Well, with leftover money, I should say. The time I'm done paying bills and food and all that, you know. I don't have a lot left. But that's okay. Because the show I'm making, I think you would like. And when you see the costume, I think you guys would really, really like it. 
I uh, have an idea. I've drawn a few pictures out on my computer, but I've also drawn loads more pictures in my art book. Yes, I have an art book and I do drawings. Well, you know, you've got to be good at everything. As I like to say, a jack of all trades, a master of none. That's basically me. I'm very good at a lot of things, but I'm not a master at anything. Like, if you want to know a few things I'm kind of good at, here's a few little things I'm good at. Music and arts and craft. Maybe cooking here and there. Those type of things. Now, I don't practice music like I used to, you know. You know how school was, right? Where you could take music class or something like that, or sometimes it was just on the curriculum and you just got made to do it anyway. Uh, it was kind of like that, you know, you get made to do stuff like that. So I'm not too bad at music. And as for cooking, well, you know, school, cooking classes and all that. So it was like, what was it in school for me? It was PE, then it was cooking, music art and then you got your literacy and then you got mass those, those type of things you learn in school so i did a lot of those in primary school and high school so i'm not too bad at things i maybe took a few courses here and there and some other stuff as i got older but you know these skills are actually paying off because when I finally get this production all sorted, it'll be very nice. I want it to have, how to explain my vision. I want my show to say this type of word to you. Clarity, good camera clearness, great audio, everything looks beautiful, concept not too bad for what I'm thinking of. But yeah, I just work on it for a long time and I deal with everything. It's a, <laughs> it's a little bit tiring though. Like every day you get up at the crack of dawn and then you work on it. Now, if you're wondering what time I get up to usually do my work well let's say around what was it five or six sometimes seven in the morning I get up you have your breakfast you get ready you do some work and then you know you're tired after all of that and then go to bed usually have dinner or something like that sometimes I forget to have dinner sometimes I'm just too tired and I just want to lay down in bed and forget about dinner for the day that's okay though I usually eat big breakfasts so I'm not so hungry and that's why I don't really eat lunch very often so that's the thing I do sometimes. It's not a bad thing though. I uh, have a very weird routine the way I live but that's all good you know. I'm productive, I get things done and yeah a lot of things I watch and do are quite fun. That is a few things I like to watch on YouTube or other places things like that. Oh, I like to watch movies. Uh, I like lots of movies. Currently I've been hearing a lot online about Pokemon. I think Pokemon like they have this new game coming out soon. Well, oh, I forget the name of the title for the new game, but I heard that's coming out now. I'm not sponsored by Pokemon to say stuff like that. It's just been a lot of memes online lately. Like, you know, they're like memes about Pokemon, memes about just life in general. So yeah, I like to watch meme videos sometimes. I like watching cat videos too. Oh, also dogs. They're cute too. Or our mother, you know, I'm gonna say it. I watch a lot of Minecraft. <laughs> I like Minecraft. I play Minecraft a lot too. I haven't been playing it a lot lately though. I haven't really been playing a lot of games lately. I've been very busy lately with the whole costume thing and production I'm doing. Uh, all self-made of course, so production takes longer. But yeah, I've been doing a lot of work. I'm pretty happy with it. I would like my uh, hands to be a little faster at working, but at the same time, I don't want to rush it because I'm afraid if I rush my production, or in other words, my costume, it may not be a how to put it good idea but besides that yeah basically i just get up on time do the work and then get tired go to bed probably have dinner now and again and always have big breakfasts and that's the way it is oh so yeah it's a lot of things i do you know uh, sometimes i have to go out and do some other stuff besides you know costume and other things you know running errands type stuff but that's okay I keep myself busy and yeah I know I really have not posted in forever online like YouTube I'm uh yeah I haven't been posting there in like how, how long has it been like four or five months since I last actually did that like it's been a while since I've last posted online I don't mean for it and all that I just get distracted like I said I get busy in life I get distracted and I don't always pay attention but that's okay now I think the last time I posted a video was what four or three months ago something like that so yeah that's a thing and I know the video you're watching it's going for a while I was fiddling a little bit right here but that's okay <laughs> I like the little animation they gave Finn now and again on this game 
I think it's quite cute. And then you've got Jake and Princess Bubblegum as well. And then the balloon feeding guy. I think that's all cool. So I do like this game a lot. Like it's like the balloon defense tower. But just with, you know, your favorite characters from another show. I think that's quite cool. I uh, don't know the legality of this game. And like how they made it and all that. I don't know that. But I know I like it. But no, I'm not sponsored or anything by these guys. I just like playing the game because it's fun. Uh, don't you ever do that sometimes? You just want to do something just for fun. Like, you know, you've got your normal life. And then sometimes in it you just do things for fun. It's what I like to do. Sometimes I'll move around and go out and do stuff. Or sometimes I'll stay home and, you know, do other things. The usual, basically. But yeah, <laughs> I've been working on this costume all way too long. Like I had the date on when I first started the costume. It's somewhere on my computer, the date on where I first started it. And then yeah, probably the day I finished that costume, I'll probably write the date on when I actually finished it. So I'll know how many months has gone by since I uh, started the production. But yeah, I'm doing pretty good. Everything's looking real good. Now, I know this video and me rambling. I've been rambling for quite a while now. I uh, don't mean to ramble so much. I just thought you guys would be interested in what I've been doing lately. But yeah, it's been all about the costume <laughs> and so many mistakes. Uh, not bad mistakes. It's more my skill level mistake. Like I'll do something and then it doesn't work. So I try something new. And if that doesn't work, then I try something even more new. Stuff like that. So I think I'm doing all right. Like, trust me, people should like the costume. And I know that's all I'm talking about is the costume. Now, here's a little hint. It's not a fursuit, if you're wondering. Yes, I know what a furry is. It is people who wear something like a mascot suit, but covered in fur, usually a random type animal, or maybe just a normal animal. That's what a fursuit is. I know what a fursuit is. Here's the thing. My costume I'm doing isn't a fursuit. Well, not exactly. It's kind of based a little bit off a fursuit in a way where the type of structure they use for one maybe, but it's not actually a fursuit. It's its own thing. And I think that's pretty cool. Like inspiration, I like to call it. Fairies are very creative people. Like I've watched them online in the videos they do. Very creative. But I will say one thing I don't always like about fairies. Now, it's not, I don't hate them. I don't hate fairies at all. The problem I have with a furry is the only thing I mostly hear them talking about is furries, fur con, and that's usually what a lot of them take. They talk a lot about that. Or the other thing they like to talk a lot about is yiffing. Now, I'm not going to tell you what yiffing means. You can look it up for yourself, but I think I'm using it in the correct term. But yeah, let's just say furries talk a lot about yiffing or a lot about the con in general, like fur cons and all that. Or they just talk a lot about furries and all that. There's nothing wrong talking all about the cutest animals on the planet. <laughs> you know, there's nothing wrong with that because, you know, their suits are absolutely adorable. But yeah, I've never been to a con before and I'm probably never going to go to a fur con just because the region I kind of live in it doesn't really it's not easy to go put it that way the region I'm in I'd be traveling for <laughs> too many hours and I don't feel like doing that you know that's very expensive to you know book a holiday then you got to fly over to wherever you want and then you got to sort all that it's just uh, I don't know I don't want to spend the money I've spent so much money getting my costume done I wouldn't really have a lot of money for a holiday now uh, it depends also how you get the tickets and all that and well, you know for doing all that it's just nah not my type of cup of tea my type of cup of tea would probably be you know lazing around the house doing absolutely nothing that's what I would like to do but you know I got work and other things I uh, need to sort out so yeah I don't get a lot of time now when I say work I don't exactly mean a normal job let's put it that way like my job is more costume type work that's my job technically but yeah I do more like costume works and stuff for myself and all that because the worst part is when you're actually making a production or <laughs> making costumes and all that you don't get paid if it's you know you're working for yourself you don't get paid or you can sell things you know if you sell stuff online and stuff then you can get money that's a way to do it but yeah it's a lot of things I do but yes I've been keeping myself busy I did something funny a few <laughs> I would say a few weeks ago but if you're watching this video in the future it might be a long time ago what I'm about to say I duct taped myself together once 
Like, I think it was a few months ago, I built myself a duct tape dummy. Now, a duct tape dummy is where you duct tape your entire body, right? You cut yourself out of it, and then you stuff it with newspaper so you have the perfect analog of your own body. I find duct tape dummies quite funny, and I've got one. It's hilarious. I stuck a light, I made a little fake head for it and everything, so I've basically got a replica of myself made out of duct tape. It's quite funny. Uh, if you're wondering what I did that for, it's for the costume. When you're making a costume, you have two options. You can go in and out of the costume constantly while you're making it, or you can sew it to a duct tape dummy and then gently take it off the duct tape dummy, and then it just fits you perfectly. And that's why I made myself a duct tape dummy. But yeah, it was a bit of fun. I look quite ridiculous covered in duct tape. Like, I won't never show you the photos, trust me. Those photos are like, whoo, me covered in duct tape. But still, it's quite funny, the duct tape dummy. Like, if you're wondering what a duct tape dummy is, you can just look it up online. The, probably the definition it will give you online would be a person who wraps themselves in duct tape. They will take themselves out of the duct tape. They fill the duct tape with newspaper. And then you've got a perfect analogue of your own body. And so yeah, I'm gonna get going now, but yeah, thanks for watching, and yeah, I know I've been rambling for quite a while, but yeah, thanks for watching, and goodbye.